Hello everyone. So this is a video about using your local library to find government resources. This is uh, targeted to this target audience is actually um, community members who are turning 65 already 65 and they're looking for information about their social security benefits. So if you go to the homepage here of your local library, the New York Public Library, and go to the get help section, this will bring you to <clears throat> this web page where a lot of information that the library already found for you is going to be stored. So we'll go down to the community resources and we'll click on that. And this will bring us to the community resources page. And this has a lot of different information, health and wellness, housing and tenants rights, financial assistance and resources and food security. So the social security benefits is most likely going to be in the financial assistance and resources section. But if um, you know, you're know you looking for information on Medicare and you think it'll be in health and wellness because Medicare is health insurance. So you go to the health and wellness section. So we click on that. And then, so we're at the health and wellness resources page and we scroll down, we're looking for anything uh, so you say you're looking for Medicare, so general health, anything that has Medicare in it, I don't see it, no, no, a lot of good information, but not what we're looking for. So in that case, if you can't find what you're looking for on this page, we could go back to the community resources homepage, and we do that by, you pay attention to um, this navigation section right here on the left side of the page. So look, community resources right at top. So if we click that, we go back to uh, the different sections that they had here. So let's go to the financial assistance and resources that I mentioned earlier. And we'll see if the information that we're looking for is on this page. So we click on that. And now we're at the financial assistance and resources page. And you notice on the side here, it's still the navigation and you can go back to the community resources uh, homepage if you need to. So we're just going to scroll down with the financial assistance and resources section. And so we're looking for social security benefits or anything with Medicare. Let's see. Not here, no, no, here, okay. so here, Social Security Administration Benefits. And if you look at this little blurb here below that, it gives an overview about um, where it will direct you. So it says here that the Social Security benefits provide partial replacement income for qualified retirees and disabled individuals, as well as their spouses, children, and survivors. Information included, so this is important, retirement, disability, Medicare, survivors, and supplemental security income. So if that's the kind of information that you're looking for, which yes it is, we're going to click on this link. So once we click here, that will bring us to a whole new website. So this is the social security website and you could see at the top here, ssa.gov. So you know we're on a whole different web page than where we were at the um, library website. So how do we know that this is a real government website, that it has authentic information? At the top of the page here, it has a little disclaimer, an official website of the United States government. Here's how you know. So if we click that, so it shows that the this is an official government because it has an .gov website. It belongs to an official government organization of the United States. So this proves that this is authentic information that you could trust, and it comes from directly from the government. Okay, so if we click this again, get hide that. And we have an overview here of the benefits that Social Security offers. So from your retirement, disability, Medicare, survivors, and supplemental security income. So depending on what you're looking for, you could click on the learn more feature and that will direct you to a more um, specialized topic webpage about the information that you uh, click on. 
So let's say that you are looking for information about your retirement. So we're going to click on the learn more feature. And that will direct us to the Social Security in Retirement webpage. So when you're looking for information here, it's important to pay attention of the things that are highlighted, bold-faced, or different colors than the usual text, because those are usually links or um, different topics that the page wants to direct you to. So right here, so this is like a its own button so learn how to apply so you could actually apply for your benefits online if that's what you want to do and see if you're eligible so this is in bold face so this is a whole different section check your eligibility eligibility so you can click on this link and it'll show you to another web page where um, you could check if you are eligible for the Social Security benefits that you're looking for and then planning for your retirement. So depending on the kind of information that you're searching for, it's um, very easy to navigate this web page. So just keep in mind what do you want to look for. So if you're looking to actually apply for the benefits, we're going to learn how to apply. We'll click that. And that brings you to apply for the Social Security benefits. Okay, so if you scroll down and says consider the timing before it shows you an application. So it says consider this. So when do you want to apply? So you can look for that kind of information. And then it says submit an application. So it actually shows that you could actually start an application and then come back and finish it if um, you have questions about something or you know, you're busy and you don't have time to finish the whole thing. Okay, so that's good to know. And then if you don't want to apply, it says here that you could set up an appointment and someone could help you. So a lot of good information on this page that you want to keep in mind. Now, if you're done looking at the application for Social Security benefits and you want to go back to the overview of the different benefits that um, Social Security has, we're going to go back to, it says benefits. Okay, so we'll click that. And then it says <clears throat> what we saw before on that web page, all the different types. But let's go to the overview again. So it has, we'll see clearly all the different um, benefits that are offered. Okay, and we're back here. And um, if you're actually not turning 65, if you're even younger than that, but uh, you have to go out of work on disability. This is um, the webpage where you could find more information about how to apply for that and how to start collecting benefits for that. Okay. And now Medicare. Medicare is very important. So <clears throat> this is good information. Let's so let's learn more here. Now it's important to plan for Medicare. Okay. Because um, the when to sign up, this is very important information because when you turn 65 or you're turning 65, the government wants you to sign up for the Medicare. So there are enrollment periods that are important to keep in mind so that um, you don't get any penalties for not signing up on time because that can happen. So if you're looking for information on Medicare, this is um, a good place to find that information and especially the find out when to sign up. So um, I would definitely advise you to check this web page here okay so this is a lot of information that's important to know even if you weren't originally searching for this information when you um, play around on the website and you look at the different you know topics that you could look at this is this is good okay so up here the navigation so we could go back to if we don't want to look at when to sign up for medicare and we want to look for more information this is uh, something to keep in mind. You could go back to the Medicare webpage. It can navigate you there. So we click that and we're back to the Medicare section. Okay, so um, the this website has a lot of good information that's important to know. And if you are having trouble on your own, trying to um, find some specific information or you're having trouble with your applications, if you scroll down here all the way to the bottom and support, it says you 
contact us, find an office, and they'll bring you, um, that's a link that'll bring you to a webpage with some contact information and how you can find a social security office.